what is your favorite Tales game and why is it Tales of Destiny? Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my review for Tales of Destiny. Tales of Destiny originally was released on the PlayStation 1 in 1997. It is the second game in the Tales of franchise. However, today we will be reviewing the remake of Tales of Destiny released in 2008 on the PlayStation 2. I will also mention I played through the game using the Life Bottle Productions English translation and this was the first time I experienced the Tales of Destiny remake in English. I'll leave a link to their Twitter in the description below. Anyways, let's get this started. Tales of Destiny begins with country boy Stan Elron, a boy seeking adventure waking up as a stowaway on the Lumina Draconis. When found, he gets put to work as a deckhand when suddenly the ship gets attacked by a hostile group of monsters. Stan, in a panic, runs around the ship trying to escape from certain death when he finds a junk sword chained up in a warehouse. However, the sword starts talking to Stan and explains that he's a swordian from the Aether Wars that happened 1000 years ago. And here starts our adventure. I just want to talk about Stan before we get into the meat and potatoes of this review. This kid is dumb, like really dumb. This guy makes a sack of rocks seem like Einstein. He doesn't have basic knowledge of most things due to being a country bumpkin. I guess he has an excuse, but my gosh, I can't believe he thought Chelsea could speak to trees for a good half of the game. Gameplay. I present to you the best battle system Tales has ever conceived. If you've played Tales of Zillia or Tales of Graces, you'll be familiar with the CC or Chain combo system. Tales of Destiny on the PS2 is where the CC system originated. Long gone are the skill levels and limited TP. Instead, you have techs that use a designated amount of CC. As long as you have CC, you can combo moves together. This is either regular attacks, special arts, and magic spells. CC doesn't require healing items such as orange or pineapple gels, just stand still and CC rapidly recovers. The battle system starts out slow, but as you get more CC, combos really open up making for an absolutely explosive battle system. To this date, no battle system has matched it. That being said, there are some things about it that bother me. If you aren't hitting weaknesses, some enemies just don't stagger. Weaknesses not only increase damage, but they also multiply critical hit rate and accuracy by four times. Criticals are much more important in Tales of Destiny than any other Tales game or RPG as they restore your CC. More CC means more combos, more combos means more fun. Outside of battle, it's more of your typical run around cities, robbing people blind and talking to NPCs. Some give you quests, the quests really flesh out the world, and by flesh out the world I mean you get to run around your backwater town and herd sheep. Whee! There are many games just like every Tales game. There's an arena, there's a foot race around town, and there's even a shooter type game where you have to shoot things with the cutest little archer around Chelsea. New to the PS2 remake is a whole second story, from the point of view of Leon Magnus. It gives more insight into Leon's view of the whole story and how he was feeling during the adventure. Tales of Destiny also uses a mini crafting style system called Rerise to upgrade equipment and create accessories. During battles, you will gain items called Lens. There are five different types of Lens. These Lens can either be sold for money, or you can use them to upgrade your equipment. Each upgrade requires an average party level, and a designated number of each type of Lens. The equipment that you can create via Rerise is usually better than the purchasable equipment, so it's very helpful, and the equipment usually has other benefits as well, such as absorb HP or increasing your minimum or maximum CC. The graphics age surprisingly well for a game that's 15 years old. The 2D sprites are absolutely gorgeous and the spell effects look super nice maintaining at consistent 60 frames per second all around. I don't remember experiencing any frame drops at all, which is very impressive with how much is going on at all times in combat. So while the art style in combat and in towns and dungeons is amazing, it maintains those gorgeous 2D sprites, however when you're running out on the world map it's very PlayStation 2. Blocky, low-res 3D sprites, it looks awful. Luckily, you don't spend too much time on the world map, but it's a bit jarring going from one style to another. What can I say? More bangers from Matoi Sakuraba. I don't know what else to say about it. Matoi Sakuraba hits it out of the park again with his early Tales work. The standard battle theme, Bear Its Fangs, is glorious, and Leon's battle theme, Fate of a Fencer, is just amazing. Outside of battle themes, the music was really calming for the most part. I love old Tales music. It reminds me of my childhood. Tales of Destiny, like a lot of early PlayStation 1 games, is not a very long game. A playthrough will take you about 25 to 40 hours, depending on side quests. My playthrough for this review was about 35 hours. Leon's side is a little bit shorter, as you're about 15 to 20 hours, for reasons I won't go into due to spoilers. 
The game is also very well paced. I felt like you're hitting action packed bit after bit. No real slowdown time outside of when you go from the first main arc to the second. Other than that, it's high octane from beginning to end. Tales of Destiny, while not my favorite in the series, is definitely up there as one of the most enjoyable. The story is one of the best though. Make sure you bring paper towels, it has some tear jerking moments, I'd give the game a solid 8 out of 10. Congratulations on making it to the end of my Tales of Destiny review. Have you played Tales of Destiny before? Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. If you enjoyed this review and want more, check out my Tales of Fantasia review and like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That's the meat and potatoes folks, and I hope you have a wonderful day.